I'm gonna become Hokage. I'm gonna work my butt off to become Hokage! Obito Uchiha's path was set to be a different kind of Uchiha. He wasn't filled with anger or hatred, but rather with love. He didn't have exceptional talent or intelligence of the other Uchiha, but he had heart and determination. Obito wanted to help those around him and become the first member of the Uchiha clan to become Hokage. Obito had the same heart as Naruto. He had the drive and the willingness to help others in need. But not everyone can be great. Not everyone gets as lucky as Naruto did. Obito was born in the Hidden Leaf and his father and mother were unknown Uchiha members and they were not in his life. The young orphan possessed a heart unlike many other in the Uchiha clan. Oftentimes their hearts were tainted with generational anger or tragedy, which was completely valid. But Obito's heart wasn't. He was kind and helpful and idealistic. The young Uchiha wasn't in it to become a powerful shinobi or to become the strongest one, no. Obito had one goal and that goal was becoming Hokage and to help those who can help themselves. Along with that, Obito was emotional. When it came to those that he loved, he loved them with a full heart and strived to give them the world if he could. After passing the academy, Obito would join Minato's team comprised of his rival Kakashi Hatake, himself, and the girl he loved, Rin Nohara, who played a very important role in Obito's life. While Obito paled in comparison to his teammate Kakashi, Obito was still a decently talented shinobi and would later activate his Sharingan while defending his teammate. And it was during that same day that Kakashi was being promoted to Jonin. And it was also that day where Kakashi would learn the importance of friendship. And it was also then that Obito showed his care towards his former rival, when he threw Kakashi's body away from falling rocks and instead he was crushed by the boulders, destroying the entire right side of his body. And as Obito was dying, he gifted his former rival with the only gift that he could possibly give him, his lone Sharingan. Later we find out that Obito would be rescued by Madara Uchiha and nursed back to life, as the elder Uchiha implanted the cells of the first Hokage Hashirama Senju into the right side of his body. While being nursed back to life, Obito heard that Rin and Kakashi were close by. He alongside White Zetsu masked his identity and went to go visit Kakashi and Rin, who was now the three-tailed Jinchuriki. Obito's first reunion between his two teammates was Kakashi impaling Rin with a lightning blade, which would then activate his Mangekyo Sharingan. And so it was at this point that Obito's purpose for living and his demeanor changed as he brutally murdered all of the hidden mist shinobi around him in a display of complete rage. The Uchiha was now destined to find a way to bring Rin back to life and to try and imagine a world of distorted peace. A lot of Obito's motivation has him placed alongside Naruto. And I believe there are some misconceptions around Obito's motivation and his reasoning. Obito did not simply turn because Kakashi killed Rin. He says this to bait Kakashi into anger. Obito turned because he understood that through his own experience, not everyone gets lucky in life. As Madara said, where there is light, there are shadows. His goal was initially to become Hokage and to protect everybody in the world. But after seeing Rin die, his goal was to protect everyone from everything, from any harm at all. Instead of protection, it was prevention. Obito didn't want anyone to face the amount of suffering that he had faced, and he truly believed that Madara's eternal genjutsu was the remedy to pain and to suffering. Because of everything that Obito lost, including his mind and the ability to see right from wrong, Obito was easily manipulated by Madara. This idealistic mindset that he had, had him consistently repeating the idea of protection. When he was with Rin, he was always dedicated to her protection. When he saw Kakashi's body on the ground, he sacrificed himself. 
we have to remember that Obito was an orphan of the Uchiha clan, and one that wasn't abnormally gifted like Itachi or Shisui. He didn't have anybody taking care of him or watching out for him. So when Rin entered his life, she not only gave him a companion, but a friend who cared about him. As he says, Rin was his light and his hope, the only thing that kept him going, the only thing that kept him fighting. Yes, he wanted to save the village, but what good was saving the village if he couldn't save her? And when he loses her, he loses his world, and he states that he was already in hell. He and Naruto were very much the same in many aspects. They were both orphans with strong innate abilities. But most of all, they had the same ideals. They both wanted to become Hokage and to protect their friends. However, if Naruto ever were to stumble and to fall off his path, he had people rallying him, people that could correct him and bring him back. But when Obito stumbled and fell off of his path, a new one of darkness was created. And without anyone to bring him back, Obito kept falling. Obito did not have many people in his corner. That is the difference between the two. That is the difference between Naruto and Obito. Naruto had Kakashi, Jiraiya, the third Hokage, all of his friends from the Leaf and other villages. Obito, however, didn't. He only had three. Minato, Rin, and Kakashi. So when Obito lost the one that meant the most to him, Kakashi and Minato were not there to bring him back to the Leaf or to the light. The only person behind him was Madara, influencing him and telling him that this world was hell and that there was a better world waiting for him, a shortcut that could bring everybody back. After his second chance at life, Obito rarely lived in the present. As they often reiterate, he couldn't see. When Rin died, the light that he saw faded. He lived in a reality that was completely void of light. He even helped in slaughtering his own people and the assassination of his mentor. Obito Uchiha was unable to see a world without Rin, and so he didn't. After a second chance at life, but a world without Rin, the light that Obito had became an absolute darkness. Green was my sole light and hope in this dark world. After I lost Reen, the whole world as I saw it changed. It became a black hell.